Good morning, everybody. Well, Lyft have just been released, and if you're here, it's because you bought it, and we thank you for that. This is an early release, so lots of things gonna be changed, and most important, lots of new things will appear in the next update. So, if you purchase uh, the early adopter version, you will have everything already, including your next upload. So, I'm gonna give you a quick overview how to get started properly with Lift Off. First thing, I'm gonna remove for the need of recording this video all the sound effects. Up. Okay, I don't like them. Okay, so first thing you have to do is to calibrate and get your radio connected to the game. So I'm using a Tonegi i10 for this video. You can use any video that has a uh, pre-installed USB and works as a USB joystick on Windows or Mac. The thing you have to keep in mind, if you're using a Terranis, that's very important. Listen, if you're using a Terranis, and that happens for also any other simulator, you need to change some settings. First, you create a new model, and in your new model, you change every weight from 100 down to 50 and if you don't do that that won't work and also you had an offset of 50 okay and before uh, do the calibration get that done on the radio okay first thing you plug the radio you go to the control and you do the joystick setup a new menu is appearing first thing you do is calibration calibration is very easy, you have to move all your stick in every corner. So you do many rounds, many turns, and then end calibration. Next, you have to set your radio. Okay, set throttle, and you can verify that up, works properly. Okay, you see the little arrow, it tells you what, where to, in what direction to go up, set pitch. And set forward. And this is it. Up, 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 up. No. Okay, little model to show you. Okay, everything is done. Okay, save and next it. You can also get some button down and give some action, like for example, the reset. It can be on the joystick button, the flight toggle mode, also joystick button, and the toggle left PV noise toggle. Okay. Here we go. So in this version, you have three maps plus a tutorial plus a workbench. The tutorial is a very abstract. Okay, I'll show you. It's a very abstract map. It's just to give you an idea how you have to behave in a 3D environment. So it, you have to follow the red line. And if you follow the red line, you get in the wall. <laughs> no, I'm joking. OK, well, you have to tilt you. I'm hopeless. So press R for restart. OK. Okay, and this is okay. I'm in level mode, that's why it feels weird. I'm not used to it anymore. So, in fact, you have to follow the line, and that will teach you the basics of how to fly. Okay, let's get in the other map, the workbench first. Workbench, this is the place where you're going to be able to tune your quad. So far, there are quite uh, limited stuff, but much more are coming soon from very famous brands. So it's easy. You click on what you want to change. You change the motor. Okay, up, up, let's 150 watts. Bye. And they're done. Same for props. You can change the props. I'm going to stick with my 6 free carbons. And you can change the LiPo if you want to fly in 4S or 3S. 
I like my multi star. Up. Okay. This is done. Save drawn. Exit. In order to tune your quad in liftoff as similar as you, the quad you're flying, the first thing you can do is change a few important settings. So to change, get access to this setting, you enter in the map and then you press escape and that will give you access to the pause menu. In the pause menu, you have four different actions. Resume, file control setting, feedback, forget feedback, reset, you will see why this button is important, and quit. So file controller setting, we have put a bunch of presets, low, medium, high, depending on how good your piloting skills are. So you can just, for example, click on high and save and exit and um, reset the game to load the new settings. Otherwise, you can change all your RC rates. So let's put to 800 for the pitch. This is the settings for get like a quite snappy behavior. PPB, I'm not gonna touch max angle for stabilized mode because I'm not using stabilized mode. Uh, Front is expo. I'm doing it on my radio, so I'm not gonna change that here. Rates per ID, stabilized per ID, I'm not changing. And RPM, put that to. 35,007 exit and because you change the setting you have to click on reset to get them loaded okay so before I start press A see on top on, on the top left level aqua level aqua that's your flight mode pressing A press C is the FPV noise toggle okay and as we saw before escape gives you the menu so now it's is Okay, this is much more. Woohoo! This is much more snappier than the default mode. But remember, we did it also for people who never flew a drone and want to get into FPV racing and to have something quite snappy it wouldn't be very enjoyable for the first day. Okay, so this is my quick starting guide with liftoff. If you have any questions, feel free to join us on the Lugus page on the Steam. Portal, or you can leave a question uh, in the description of the video and I will reply to you. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Oh, I forgot. Uh, if you want to adjust the camera angle, it's not possible to do it now from the UI. So you have to edit a file which is called player.xml in the config directory, and you will see in the bottom of this file because I know you a lot want to change this angle. You have the camera angle. So I'll show you what it is. Da, 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 camera angle. By default, say to 30. So you can change it to what you want and click on save. Remember, do that with the block note, and I will recommend you do a backup in another directory before I did this file, in case you didn't save it properly the game might not be able to restart. Okay, so I'm not recommending to do that, but if you really despaired by changing the camera angle, this is the only solution you can do at the moment. Thank you for your attention and have a good flight. Bye-bye.